<laughs> hey guys, welcome to our Thursday night call. I was hoping for a great turnout tonight because I just got back from San Diego. We'll probably have some stragglers on here, but I hope uh, I will have the recording. Hey, Diana, I hope you're well. Uh, I, I just got back in town yesterday. Yeah. And uh, I wanted to, to do this stuff with you. I went over it with Lisa tonight, and, and I'm actually going to try to get Yada to come on and teach with me uh, soon, coming soon. I'm hoping that her and James are going to come to our live event. Um, we, I don't know what that is, but let me try to mute everybody because it's kind of giving me a lot of feedback. Mute all. And... So I just came back from one of my masterminds and guys, it, it's, there's a ton of stuff to share with you, but I'm just going to tell you, I've, um, the information I'm going to share here in a little bit, first I'm going to have Chris come on and talk about something that a lot of you on here have done. A lot of you have not done and you need to do this. And so, uh, but a uh, convention is next week. Um, I had a guy at my mastermind this weekend um, that I really, f I love this guy. Like he is a Facebook ad guy. His name's Evan Pomerantz. He's going to convention with us next week and he's just getting ready to upgrade to a distributor from a customer. And we just feel this direction of momentum going in the right direction. Look, maybe you've had a little bit of success. Maybe you've had a lot of success. Maybe you've spent a lot of money and not made a lot of money. Um, I believe that the, the 10 to 20 percenters that are here now from 2023 are going to be the ones that take this company to a billion dollar company. You, we're already seeing customers come back, we're already seeing distributors come back. It's, it's us treating it like a business. And, um, the information I'm going to share with you later on storytelling, um, was, was taught by, uh, Yada, Yada, it's pronounced Yada with a D. Uh, it's pronounced with a D, but it's spelled Y-A-R-A, -A, Golden. She works with Russell Brunson and James P. Frills as is her, is her boyfriend. And she just got paid $30,000 to write 12 emails for a network marketing company. Now, I'm just going to tell you, there's people on here tonight that have medical practices and nutrition practices and all kinds of businesses. Wouldn't it be awesome if you guys could learn a little bit that would go into everything, could go into your job, go into your business, your other business, you know, and increase, you know, your sales. Um, it's really simple. And I never thought about it. So I heard you ought to talk. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to expound on this in the next couple weeks. I'm going to let Lisa teach a little bit of it. She, she's took a storytelling class and it matched up with a lot of this stuff. I believe that the majority of you are not telling your story. And just like getting back to, uh, because we started growing so fast, so many people were trying to reinvent the wheel and, hey, it's, you know, we're doing this now. And, and, and it's not. It's simplicity. It's advancement. And it's, and it's personal growth and maturity. I found out from, I, I, I got to hear a guy named King Jing, King Ju speak at my mastermind. He's 28 years old. He's an eight-figure earner, which means he's going to make probably $10 million this year. And the guy, he showed a picture of himself telling his story at his very first thing. And the guy told him to jump up and down. And he's like, I'm never doing this again. And the very thing that he hated, he became significant at. And a lot of you have potential. I, 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 I've learned from people in their 20s and people in their 40s and people in their 60s. You're never too old to grow and mature and start a business. You know, uh, Chris and I were talking today about things that I see him doing. And it's, you know what? The only people that are missing out or that aren't on this call tonight is because they think it's just another, uh, another life vantage call, which those of you who are on here every week, like Chris, like Mike, um, like, like Wendy, like, like Tracy, like Stacy, well, can tell you. Uh, it's not just another life vantage call. We are challenging people to become, you just heard Tracy talk about it before we got on about how she's exercising every day. And she's, you know, she's in Mexico doing, uh, 
presentations and learning. And I, I connected her with somebody who had all kinds of uh, Spanish stuff that she could learn from and grow from and help. And that's what this is about. It isn't about us. We wouldn't spend forty to fifty thousand dollars a year in personal development and keep it to ourselves. It would be selfish, number one. And you know, like Lisa said, she said, "Honey, you know, we and we talked about." It. I, I said to her, "I said, honey, wouldn't it be great if we had 50, 60, 70 people on these calls instead of fifteen to twenty-five people?" And she said, "Honey, it wouldn't be the same because those people are not the ones that God called to be on these calls." And so, guys, be be humbled and, 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 and just excited that you guys get to hear this information because I believe if you take it and implement it, it'll impact your life. I had a lady that I became really good friends with. I, I think she's in her 70s. She's a, um, a doctor, a chiropractor up in Atlanta, and she watched my – I told Chris this. She watched my playing the long game video, and she said, Mike, God's not done with me yet. I, th I was starting to believe that I was just going to live the rest of my life and just kind of status quo. She said, and then I watched that video and boom, I got it. Like I, I understood. And so uh, next week at convention on Saturday morning, uh, Mike Weingarten, um, I am teaching a class on biohacking through HIT training. It's going to be a 30 minute class. It's going to be early in the morning, just letting you guys know. And I hope that you guys will come. There's going to be a yoga class. Sharice Matthews is teaching yoga. There's some other stuff, but I'm going to bring it home and do a 30 minute biohacking workout. And Mrs. Hughes will be there. Yep. Come on over, babe. Um, so, um, and I hope that you guys will join us. We'll know more times and stuff. Guys, uh, I'm super excited. I just told my hairdresser about na, 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 na. I just told my hairdresser about so our new product oh uh, yeah started. yeah yeah <laughs> uh, about our new hair products and she's super excited and so what I want to challenge you guys tonight is to start taking orders for the hair stuff right you're only going to be able to get it at convention okay with your own ID number, own ID number. so order enough so, and there's going to be a Pro 5 push uh, for this month and next month and the following month. And I think that this is going to be a big stepping stone because it, it, you just have to treat it like a business, guys. You have to educate people. Lisa and I are doing so much more um, stuff that if you, the, the only reason you don't, you're not successful is because you quit before the finish line. You know, so many people get involved in so many different things. You know, I, I, I have a doctor in my group that was going ho, go, went gung-ho, and then he made it to Pro 5, and then his upline got distracted, and he got distracted. But he's coming back now because we loved on him, and we encouraged him, and we never gave up on him. That's exactly the way this is. It's, if, you, if you're like us, we feel like we have a moral obligation to share this information. And um, I believe you should too. And what's really un easy for you to understand is that this, like Chris and I talked about today, you know, we're, as we get closer and closer to momentum, which I think will happen in the next three to four years, you get to be a part of that. You get to watch it. You know, we, we use that all the time about Steve Jobs. You know, imagine if you would have quit. None of us would have an iPhone. I know some of you'd be okay with that. I, I wouldn't. I mean, I'd have to be, but I wouldn't. So, I wouldn't have uh, known any better. Yeah, I wouldn't have known any better, right? <laughs> so before Lisa and I start on this storytelling stuff, uh, a lot of you guys have been seeing these. Uh, and also, one more thing before I bring Chris on. We are going to have next week in at convention, we are going to have a building depth event that I want everybody to go to. Um, look, we're not taking you away from your group. If you're in True Blue, which we still are, we're just getting back to the basics of what got us to this business, to this business, using a tear-off sheet. Mark Shinsato still uses it. Seth Mulder still uses it. Guys, it's simplicity. It's for people who are not, like, I'll be honest with you. Four people in my organization that need this more than anything are not even on this call tonight. And Chris and I talk about it. We talk about people and how they really, truly need to learn what this is about. And there's an event in December that, I'm just going to tell you how important it is to me, okay? 
Um, and then I'll bring Chris on. Lisa and I are involved in it. I, I need to miss your shirt. Okay. So Lisa and I are involved in an organization called Thrive Connect. Okay, you can sit back. Um, uh, and, and so we have to pay to be a part of this. It's $15,000 a year, okay? And you get a lot of this stuff. It's really cool. Our mentor, Cole Hatter, called me today, and he really wanted Lisa and I to go to Mexico on a retreat that he puts on every single year. And he says, Mike, I think you're supposed to go, but I know you've got prior commitments. He said, and I said, Cole, I promise you, I'm going, we're going next year. They changed the dates of it. We were going to go, but now Lisa and I are going to Mexico to build houses for life vantage. But the thing about this right here is, is that we, the first thrive connect meeting is a, is a three day event. And it's on December 8th and 9th, the same day the building depth event is. And the normal person would say, but Mike, you're going to convention. Why don't you and Lisa just pick one and go to one? And I'm going to tell you, no, I'm not going to do that. And, and it bothers me. I told her the first night we found out, I didn't sleep. I, I was up all night. And then I realized God's in control. She's going to Thrive Connect, and I'm going to Building Depth. Plain and simple. You know? Divide and conquer. Divide and conquer. And that's what you should do. You know, we talk about this all the time. You know, um, I, I came back to her to, uh, from my trip, and, I, and, I, and I, I talked to a couple people that are on this call today about this. Um, I'm doing, if Lisa never does anything with life Vantage other than just be a part of it and support me, I'm going to do it no matter what. Do I want her to do this with me? I believe she can be a pro seven by herself. And you've seen it. My friend, Jason Kokenzi created two pro seven places, one, his wife and two himself and the second one himself and never had done this before. Okay. So I just want to tell you, we're here for you. It, you guys should encourage your teams to be on here. You want to learn. You want to grow. And, and, and we're going to pour back in you. I have notes galore and videos galore from uh, what I learned at this last event. Uh, I'll just tell you this. I, one, of the, one of the things that I learned the most is I learned from my friend Chris Harder. Chris and Lori Harder are real people. They're going to make $5 million this year. They're going to make $1.5 million from Isagenics which is another network marketing company. And Chris knocked my socks off. He said, he said, Mike, you're in the right place. And I didn't realize, you know, he's from the Midwest. I'm from the Midwest. He grew up in the church. I grew up in the church. Just was a lot of things we had in common. And I asked him a couple questions. He was broke. And then, you know, he made a, he made a ton of money and then he was still broke and he made a ton of money. He was still broke. And then he lost everything and he started network marketing. Companies started to grow. Lori started to grow and he kind of took a back seat. And now Lisa can tell you his podcast is unbelievable. It's for the love of money, right? And my friend Tyler Ranella said it today. He said, um, are you going to write it in there? Okay. She's going to write it in here. Chris Harder for love money. And my friend Tyler, I, I'm going to listen to Chris's podcast tomorrow because Tyler challenged everybody to listen to it and do what Chris told you to do. And um, I'm, I'm hoping that I'm going to have Chris at my live event next year. Here in Clearwater. So um, I hope that that give you guys some encouragement of why we hear, why we do these calls every single week. Um, and I hope that you guys will download Chris's podcast and start listening to it. He, he's very humble. He's real. Uh, Cole told me today, he said, Mike, Chris and Lori are two of the most real people I've ever met in my entire life. And, and, and I said, and then I began to tell him about my experience with, with, with um, Chris this past weekend. So um, I'm going to bring, speaking of Chris, I'm going to bring um, Chris, you can turn your, um, your video on. Um, it's a great segue. Oh, no, you, you're fine, bro. You look good. You're straight. No, your, your segue from Chris to Chris. That was a good segue. Yeah, it was, right? <laughs> so, uh, an epiphany bridge. Yeah, an epiphany bridge. We're going to talk about that in a minute. <laughs> so so um, I would say that, um, you know, in life, you have a lot of friends and you have acquaintances in this business. We meet a lot of, we meet a lot of people. And um, I'm just going to say that um, Chris Goodrow is one of my best friends in this business. We have, we have been in it for, for, <laughs> for a long time together. Uh, I knew Chris when he first came in. I knew that he was in this for life. I knew that he always plays jokes on me. He'll call me and say, hey, bro, this is my last day in life, Vantage," <laughs> and just messes with me like to know tomorrow. And he's like, man, I'm just quit. I'm, I'm done. 
like, you know, and then he'll say, I'm done with something else. And he'll kind of play a joke on me. So funny thing is those are half truths. Yeah. <laughs> but we've all said half, you know, half right? we Cole talks about truths, but I wanted, and I'll, I'm going to mute my video so Chris can talk a little bit about this. A lot of you guys have been seeing people holding up pro tandem, um, on, on the, um, on here. And what's great about that is, is that a lot of people are getting customers, but I, Chris and I talked about this today. What I think is happening, and I'm just going to say this and, and Chris will kind of lead way in it is that a lot of people, even though you send them a cart, they may not follow through and do the, and, and add the cart. Like I spoke to somebody who had eight people that were, had interested in our organization and they sent eight carts and only two people signed up. So it's like, Mike, what do I do? I said, you call them, you get on the phone and you call them. You go to their Facebook messenger and you push the little phone at the top if you don't have their number and you call them and say, hey, I'm in front of my computer. Let me walk you through this, this, this registration. Let me help you get through it because people get busy, right? They, 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 they just get busy. And uh, so Chris and, Chris and I have been talking about it. We believe that we can start doing it with other products. We believe that we can do it with our probiotics. Guys, there, there's no better probiotic on the market that's better than ours. You don't have to refrigerate it. Um, you know, it, it's got BioTrack in it, which is the number one selling one was one called Megaspore for years. I used it. Dr. Huey used it. Jason used it. And ours is better. And they, can, they would both tell you that. Doctors, uh, my friend, Dr. John DeWitt, uh, who's getting ready to join Life Vantage this week, told me the same thing. He's like, Mike, how come I don't know about this? I said, John, nobody knows about this. So I'm going to let Chris tell you how, how to do this. I hope you guys will pay attention and do it and then use it as a follow-up. And just remember one thing when, from what Chris tells you. It takes more than one touch of somebody to get this. That five, usually the average is five touches. Okay. So I'm going to mute and Chris, it's all your. All right. Thanks, man. Yeah. So what's been happening was, is I actually watched uh, Brandon post a video or a, a picture of him holding a protanum and it's just simply just like this. This is all it is. And it says, if you don't know what I'm holding, you, you should know. And for those of uh, you that know, please tell me how this has helped you in, in any way. I would love to hear your results or, you know, from like your family. So you just want to hold it up, take the picture with you holding it, and then just post. If you know, if you don't know what holding, you should know. And for those who do know, um, please tell me, you know, wh how, how it's helped you or your family or your loved ones. And that is simply it. So I'm like, okay, um, let's see how this goes. I, I'm one of those people that uh, don't always like to blast things on the Facebook, but you know what, if there's something that comes through, that's very important. I try to kind of spin it in a way that doesn't make it seem multi-level marketing. Like, like Mike was talking about the biotract and our probiotic. I, I know that there's people looking for probiotics and I found the most amazing video. It's, it's a minute 34 uh, on YouTube about biotract and it actually explains how the biotract works. And uh, I didn't know how the biotract works. So I looked it up. And what happens is when you put the probiotic in the body, the body actually then creates this gel barrier around the, the probiotic, which is, which is crazy. I, I didn't know that's exactly what, what, what that did. So when this gel barrier goes into the body, it actually allows you to get it past the pH and into the test line in the intestines. And then you got that slow release, which was, which was amazing. And I started showing people that information and I had three new customers on the probiotic, which was amazing. Two customers upgraded. And then I had another person ask me about it. So that, that was pretty cool, but just by showing that video, but I, I followed the comments. I then saw some other distributors do it and I followed the comments. I started seeing, what is this? What's going on? How does this work? What can you tell me more? I'm interested. So, and then I actually, what I wanted to do was see how many of those people were actually involved in life Vantage because we like to kind of kick each other's posts up to help that algorithm build. So you can get that post going over and over and more people see it. That's what Facebook likes to see. And I started realizing that a lot of people asking about what it was or what they're interested in, they're not involved in life advantage at all. So I knew that this, this was a hit and I knew what was driving it was the social proof. So I, I messaged my team. I said, guys, I'm going to do a post. I want you to watch it. I want you to exactly follow it the way I just did it. And then we're going to help you build on this. And when we help you build on this, we comment, you know, try to stay compliant as much as possible. Don't say it cured my cancer or it did this. 
but just let them know like, hey, I'm sleeping better. Uh, the swelling in my hands have went away. I've actually diminished my medications um, and stuff like that. They don't talk about curing diseases. It starts, to, people start reading these comments and they're like, holy cow, what is this? I had so many people message me and, and ding me in Messenger. And uh, like Mike was saying, I actually sent out four cards between yesterday and today. And I've actually been talking to some people about it and uh, reassuring them. I have another lady who's stuck in the doctor, uh, John Huey, tomorrow night, and she's probably going to end up buying the product. She just wants to make sure it won't interfere with any of her medications. She would like to talk to somebody in the medical field and uh, I'll have her on board. So, and then she's already told her friend and her other friend, she's asking me, will this help my friends this and my friends this, there could potentially be three customers right there just out of that one. So even if you got five customers yourself, your downline has about 10, 15 people in it that are really active and working the business. If they all did it and they could each find at least five to 10 customers, how much more would your business grow? And it's something super simple and you've got to help each other though. If I see your post, I will definitely uh, comment on it. I know Wendy had a post. I know Stacy had a post. I commented on their posts and you just keep help building that up. So um, I'm, I'm hoping that my team jumps on board with this because I've got some good results. It takes 30 seconds to do. That's it. 30 seconds. You snap a picture of yourself. You write exactly what I wrote and that's it and you're done. Um, so that's it. I, I, hope, I hope you guys uh, look into this and try this because it will stem some results. Even if you got two extra customers, sometimes what is life vantage 66, 70% customers become distributors. What if those two people that become your customers become a new distributor? down the road. So, and then if you have anybody else that is interested in joining the business, tag them in that post because I did that with Devin and Devin messaged me tonight and he says, I'm getting involved in this in November. You better help me. <laughs> so I told him that I would, I would be all on board, but uh, that's it. That's all you got to do. You guys there? Like Lisa, you're on, you're on mute. There we go. Hey, you know what? The other thing too, Mike, about that podcast thing I just want to let you guys know, I'm, I'm actually considering starting a podcast. And, you know, I, we're going to have ours starting pretty soon too. Because I actually listened to some of Joe Rogan. I got caught down in a rabbit hole of Joe Rogan's podcast, which are amazing. He gets some amazing guests on there. And there was one guy in there that talked about soul killing. Man, wait till you see my Facebook Live on my business page about soul killing. It's going to be amazing. And I'm going to boost it. But the top 10, the Gilmore Boys... And they talk about the Gilmore girls. And then hey, there's two girls Chris, that talk about boyfriends on it. Do me a favor. <laughs> type the script for the pill video thing over in the, in the, um, just yeah. copy and paste it. Over in oh the, yeah. 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 Let yeah. me do that. Okay. okay. We'll do. It's all yours. Appreciate it. Appreciate you. All right, guys, guys, I hope that was helpful. Like Chris said, and also if you've got customers that stopped using the product, after you get a lot of people commenting on it, maybe a three or four days later, copy those people down in the post. Guys, and please start using the, the, the biohacking product and insight group. Start putting your potential customers in there. I had a lady today say, can I put five people in the group? I was like, put 100 people in the group, right? You, you should be going back to your customers and letting them see these things of, of, um, of how you can, your people are getting off of 20 and 30 medications, okay? So let me pull up my slides here. One second. Hold on. Uh, share. Thank for you guys who are finally just getting on. It's um, awesome to have you guys. Um, so, guys, tonight I want to talk about my friend Yada Gord, um, Golden. She did a teaching, and, and I, Lisa's been taking some teachings on storytelling with my friend Marshall Gillen. So we're going to use, she's going to use, she, a lot of it's the same, but, but as you guys heard me say, Yada got paid $30,000 to write three or 12 emails or prove it, which is a network marketing company. Okay. So, and, and her title of her thing was how becoming a story seller will change your business and relationships forever. So, um, this, the, it's, there's six little pieces here that we're going to talk about. So I hope you guys will pay attention, take some notes and, 
and take some action. Being here is only part of it. A lot of you guys will come on these calls. A lot of you won't. Um, and, and then you'll, you'll take them and you'll kind of say, oh, that was great, but don't put it into action. Um, I went to one, my mastermind was one of the best ones I've been to. There was guys weeping and being set free of, 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 you know, just not doing anything in their businesses, went home and have already done stuff just in two days. Um, but let's just take action with this stuff, guys. This is, this is deep stuff. So number one was a, a assume familiarity. Approach conversations assuming familiarity. Remember, you're writing your best friend. So this is for emails. This is for emails, uh, blog posts, uh, instant messenger, all those things, okay. text, any of that. Um, drop the salutation. Use contractions whenever possible and never use their name. And, and, and that, when I read this to Lisa, she was like, never use their name. And, 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 and everybody asked that question, you know? And so Gata said, I've learned that it, it, it's, it's not good. And so I'm thinking, hey, she's the one getting paid $30,000 to write emails for companies. Probably should listen. So she must know what she's, she must know what she's doing. So for example, he is, is contracted to he's right? They are is contracted to their, right? Use contractions in a sentence to shorten the phrase and give it a less formal term. For example, they are playing together. The sentence becomes they're playing together, right? So um, guys, I really can't see um, I, I think that's the one he's doing. Uh, hold on one second, guys. I'm trying to, you guys are putting stuff. Um, so guys, um, just follow what Chris said. You, 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 you're not, nobody's making claims. You can tell exactly, you can look down it and see. Um, I know, I, I know Dondi very well. Um, it, it, what everybody's doing is fine. They're not, they're not, there's, they're, they're not saying the name of the product, which is they're not doing that. And if they were doing that, that would be different. Um, they're not. So it, you guys are fine. So let's go on to the next one. Number two, create curiosity based Pattern interrupt. And guys, I, I've probably got to go on and not read the chat. So if you guys can wait to the end to kind of chat a little bit, that would help tremendously. Or just, right? answer it. Or just, just you know, wait, wait until the end, all right? We'll wait till the end. And you can ask a question, and Chris or myself or my wife can, can, can talk about okay. it. Uh, the subject line, create a curiosity-based pattern interrupt. Make your reader do a double take when scanning through their inbox. Example, Lisa gave these two examples because these are two that she did. Mm -hmm. So um, talk about this. Okay. So in your subject line, because everybody's bombarded with emails and there's really only about a 30% open rate on emails. So you really want to make sure you grab their attention in that subject line. So for example, with working on Heathfluence and setting up, setting up email sequences, you know, the subject was, has your trainer ever hit you? And you're thinking, what? And then later on in the email, it's like, oh, darn autocorrect. You know, because you're thinking, well, why would your trainer hit you? Ow. But, um, or the other one that I actually do kind of like better is, um, actually I kind of changed it, but, it's like, did you see Freddie dropped his drawers? Asking a question. You know, or dropped, lost his pants kind of a thing. It's like, it's, it's, it's a, a physique. shocker. It's just for physique. It's uh, a and, shocker thing. And, and Freddie, okay. uh, who's one of my clients too, went from a size 48 inch waist to a size 36 inch waist. Yeah. Okay? That's not in the subject line. But right. You need to grab their attention to make them want to open in the, it and in the, read it. And the subject line is, will you drop your drawers like Freddie did or did you see, did you Freddie? see Freddie drop his drawers and right. then there's a video of Freddie holding up a pair of old pants 48s and then he drops them and he's in size 36 okay so 
Um, let's go on number three, all right? Hook, hook your reader immediately. First, second, and third lines are used to drop your reader into your story immediately. Telling your story is great, guys. You all have a story. Every single one of you. I have a story. Lisa, we have plenty. You know what? We have plenty of stories. I told my story about my father this last weekend, right? This is your hook. Make sure your reader understands why they, they should pay attention to what you have to say. And I found a good example here that says, you know, challenge your readers, challenge them to understand that you're sharing amazing information with them. You know, I, I, I like the one that gets people all the time when you say, uh, did you know that your, your body is ravaged with 300 septillion free radicals every day? And they're like, really? Yeah, whatever. Huh? <laughs> so um, we all want less crime, stronger families, fewer dangerous confrontations over drugs. We need to ask ourselves, however, if we're willing to change the status quo to get those results. That's a good one. Here's a bad one. This policy makes us look stupid. It's not based in fact, and people that believe it are delusional at best, and villains are worse. So it doesn't really make, you, I think you had one that, did you have Well, one? I, I was, if we're gonna stick on the um, yeah, this, subject, ahead. like, so with, for Freddie, the hook is, you know, okay, he lost, 31 pounds. 31 pounds in 30 days with the picture of him with his pants hanging out to here in 30 days. It grabs their attention. It's like, oh, wow. Okay, so now I understand. So, okay, it was a joke, so to speak. The subject being, you know, did you see Freddie lose his drawers? And drop his drawers. Yeah. Well, now we've got why Freddie dropped his drawers. So you're creating that curiosity. You're creating that story in your, um, your lines yeah and and another thing is you're like getting them hooked. like also and you're talking about freddie freddie has struggled with his weight all his life how many people do you know that have struggled with their weight all their life right that's that's something that hooks them they're like well i've you know i've struggled with my weight all my life or how many of you you know so we'll talk about it on the next slide so it goes on okay mm -hmm. so guide guide their epiphany right this is you're from Russ them on a journey this is from russell brunson's i don't know if you guys have read any of Russell Brunson's books. I've been telling you guys to read them. You should be reading Russell's books. They're free. All you have to pay is for the shipping. Uh, it says, fill, fill them in. Give them your hook. Uh, give your hook some context by using more, your own words. Use similes and metaphors to help your reader across the epiphany bridge. And whenever you do, don't tell them you're, you're, they're on an epiphany bridge. <laughs> Yeah, so basically you're not going to tell them, hey, you're fat too, you need to lose weight. You know, you're telling the story, having them think about their own health, their own weight in this example. So you're guiding their epiphany by saying, you know, Freddie grew up fat his whole life. That may or may not be true, Freddie, if you're on, you know, forgive me. It I don't is. think you're not, but oh. anyways, He's not on. Um, you know, you want to get your reader, your audience to be able to relate and personalize that story that you're telling them. So, you know, how many people grew up fat their whole life? You know, if that's your target, that's what you're looking for, that's what you're gonna do. So you're gonna guide them to realize, whoa, I could do this too. Or, oh my gosh, you're talking about me here. Perfect. But don't tell them you're talking about them. Mm -hmm. Number five. Give your reader the win. Give your reader credit for con connecting the dots and for understanding how your story connects them to, in our case, our products, right? Our services. Our services. Yeah. So then as you're going through this example, you know, you get to the point where it's like, by now, I bet you're realizing because you are so smart that you're no different than Freddie. And you know what's great? And then that's where you get them. You compliment them, basically. Compliment them, right? And that's, and guys, that's simple. That's, you guys have heard me teach it. it, it Cole teaches it in the us versus them. Yep. Hey, you know what? You're, <laughs> the reason why I thought of you is because you're, you get this. You're understanding this. You're a winner. You're not like everybody else out there that's, you know, sitting on the fence and not proactive about their health. You know, it's why I thought of you. So you can, you, you get it. And so 
And then the last one is, is ask them to tell you about it, okay? About the past experiences. Give your reader the opportunity to express, talk about, and communicate with you what they've just realized, okay? Or share a similar experience they may have had in the past. Mm -hmm. So basically, and like using Facebook, for example, specifically, you know, we're telling stories with their ongoing posts, et cetera. You're asking people to post their comments, like what Chris just did with the little yellow pill. How has this affected you? I want to hear about it. Show me or tell me your experience with it. So it's basically, again, getting them to consciously recognize they're in the same boat and that they need our help. And Chris, Chris and I were talking about this today about how how he talks to people when he's saying, look, you get this, man. Like you're looking for, you're, you've already told me that you're looking for something. This is exactly what you need. Let, and, and then you guys know the problem with most is that you guys don't ask people to get started. Like you don't take the person to the next thing or maybe you're not relating to them enough to get them to want to make a decision. And then educating them after. I like what Brandon did. He put a, um, a, a new, vi a new uh, outline. I told Chris about it today about what to expect when you take NRF2 Pro Tandem. Guys, most people think that somebody told them, oh, I got MS and I'm going to, and Tracy, it's, I'm not saying that you do this. This is not, I'm just saying in general, people do this all the time. Oh, I've got MS and you need to take this pill, right? No, you need to take this pill because you got MS related to oxidative stress. We have the only clinically proven product in the world to reduce oxidative stress by 40% in 30 days. And it's at the very center of MS. It's not going to, doesn't mean you go out and eat bonbons and candy bars and everything else. But as you guys know, this is what it does. And so I am going to stop there. And so I, I, I know there's been some questions. And so uh, in the part of there, I hope you guys got some good information out of this. I'm going to go back and watch it. Uh, I'm going to, as soon as I get, um, Yada's um, uh, recording of this. I'm going to put it in our, excuse me, our Freedom Fighters page so that you guys can have access to it. And you can go back and look at it. We should get them probably in a week or so. Uh, it was great. So you guys can go back and watch that, use these notes and learn. Just start telling your story, guys. Put some stuff into action. Start loving and telling people. So let me ask you, is there anybody that has any questions about anything we've talked about tonight, about storytelling, about things that are going on next week at convention. I told you, I just had a guy that signed up this week that's going to convention next week. So um, any questions, any concerns that maybe didn't get answered in the chat or maybe something you said that, or maybe you need clarified. Anybody want to uh, answer? Question or ask? Mitchell. Hey, Mike. Yeah. What question Mike. about the hair care line that you mentioned about pre-selling it because we can yep. only go to that convention. Yes, sir. What kind of information is there on it out there, and do you know the cost? Yeah, I I think it's is it hundred hundred right. I'll I'll get all that, Mike. Um, hundred nine, Mike. One oh nine. I thought it was around one ten. Yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. And and um, there's a great video that I put on the Freedom Fighters and the bio with Maria Williams is on there. And she's on there with another pro seven who's a hairdresser. And they go over all of it and explain it. I think Chris- That's the one toxins, toxins, toxins. Yeah, yeah. Right. And they go through it and educate it. So you, you can, you know, you can send that to your customers and say, hey, look, they're only gonna sell this at convention. And, and that, you know, you guys, I've, I've been traveling for three or four weeks. So I've not been up. I missed a, an elite call yesterday. I'm going to go over it um, uh, tomorrow. And then I'm going to post a video in the Freedom Fighters uh, page. If you're not on there, ask to be added on there. And I'll add you in. And you can go there and get it. I'll tell you everything they talked about on the elite call. And I'm going to do that tomorrow afternoon sometime. Anybody else? Question, comment? So there were some questions over there in the chat box. Anybody want to make a question or a comment? Guys, don't be shy. People need interaction on here. These are great things to step up and make and, and, and just share your heart. I know there's a lot of people on here that have been doing the pill videos. Maybe you want to share or interact a little bit. Mike, Thank this is Tracy. Much.
Oh, sorry. I'll wait. No, go ahead, Tra ladies first, Tracy. Go ahead. Yes, sir. Um, thank you very much, Lisa. Yeah, I see you laughing. Um, thank you guys so much. You did save my butt by sending me those links in the Spanish because I looked and I looked and I looked and I looked and I, I, I couldn't find stuff and, and you did save my butt. So thank you very much. And I, I know, I know I made an error in timing about booking this trip, but this will be my first and last time I miss an event. So I am there with you in spirit, but will not be there with you in person. All right. We'll see you next. We'll see you next one. Yeah. I miss you. Love you both. Thank you. Cherry, did you have a question? Dr. Whistler. Sure. Um, I just, you, you said something about the pill video. My understanding from what he said was he did, they took a photograph holding the Yeah, you can go on any of those. You can go on Chris's. I haven't done it yet. Um, I'm going to do it this week, uh, probably tomorrow. Uh, Brandon Cunningham has it on his, Jerry. Okay. And everybody on here Kathy almost. Bernard. Kathy Bernard. But is it a is it a photo or is it a yeah, video? A photo. A photo. Okay, that's that's what I heard him say, and then you said something about a video, and I thought some I people have done it in a video. I so. thought about doing a video. So whatever you feel, whatever you feel comfortable. I recorded one, but I haven't posted it. <laughs> so you get more response to a video or a photo? Who we'll knows? find out. I don't know. Yeah, we're gonna try them both. You know what you always do? You split test stuff. She's gonna do a video. I'm gonna do a picture, and we're gonna see what one works best. I think the, the problem. One thing, one thing you can test out with the video is you actually get to see the views to where, like, if you have a picture, you know, you, yeah, you'll that's, be, why we're, that's why we're doing it. But when you do make a quick video, even <clears throat> even when it's a couple seconds, it shows the views, so you get to see how many eyes are actually watching it in that amount of time. Yeah, right. and the best and the best videos are thirty seconds to a minute, and some of them fifteen to thirty seconds. Yeah. Mine was like 53 seconds when I recorded it. That's good. So think about that. Mark Lack, my one of my one of our mentors, says that that's you know little short videos, 45 to th seconds to a minute. I find they cut those off though off of Facebook really quickly. What do you mean? I did two really short videos, and they didn't stay on. No, they'll stay on. They're not on my Facebook. Well, mm -hmm. you're not on your Facebook page anymore. Nope, gone, gone, they gone, gone. Always, they should always be on there. I've it depends never. on the content. Then, yeah, it depends on the content. That's strange. I've yeah. never had that. I've never had one taken off, unless you play music okay. or something. Yeah. No, I, I was showing lifting my wheelchair out of the back of my car and then driving it, and I showed um, picking up leaves with a. Um, a grabber and stuff. Yeah, that that should be. Ask him about it. Contact then. and ask him about it. Anyway, just a question. But I haven't taken the picture, and I was wondering if everybody should. And you just answered my question. But I like yep. the bio tracked one too. So anyway, I'm gonna shut up. Bye. Anybody else, real quick? Lisa, did you use the same uh, script as we did for the picture when you did the video? Yeah. Pretty yeah, much. pretty much. What I actually did though is I'm just playing around. Like I said, I haven't actually posted. I actually held the little yellow pill yep. and two little capsules. She's just doing a couple so different I'm, ones just to I'm see. I'm thinking about even you know using the same script, but yep. you know the flag. You know. So she's gonna so do we'll a couple. See. We're gonna do a couple different ones. We'll see what oh, I. Have. Okay. Okay. No, I was just just wondering exactly which way you went with that. We'll yeah. tell you what's good because we're going to do a couple of videos and other stuff, and we'll tell you what's good and what's not good. You should always. Cool. Perfect. Thank you. You're no welcome, Stace. Anybody else? And just, just so you know, Brandon said on Monday's Team True Blue call, they're going to get into that whole picture, your little yellow pill thing, that how people okay. are using that. Let me know. All right. Anybody else? Anybody else? I just said what? I didn't hear what he said. He said they're going to get into it in the next couple of weeks. Brandon. <clears throat> On Monday's call, the Team True Blue call. Okay, cool. I'll post the recording. Anybody I else? Got a, I got a question off subject. 
Go for it, Ben. <clears throat> for the people that are going out to Salt Lake that that got the Airbnb, I wanted to know if there was any space available at that location or not. Wendy's on there. Wendy, are you still on there? I am. Do you have any room? No, we don't. I'm sorry. Okay. All right. I just wanted to double check. Okay. I'll All keep right. you in mind if something changes, Ben. Thanks. Okay. I'm still welcome. trying to make it. I know that's a week Wendy. away, but I'm, I'm determined. Wendy, do you have a room for a blow for a blow up mattress or anything? Well, Christy's son might be coming. That's why I'm kind of not sure. Okay, because I mean, I can bring a blow up mattress. I have a I have a, a a single bed mattress. Necessary, you could. I mean, I'm just saying, get get be able to to use it if you want. So just you just could, think. You could put it. me in the garage if there's one. <laughs> we'll, talk, we'll, talk, we'll we'll talk about it. We'll figure it out. If, if not, Ben can come stay with us. So it's all good. Yeah, keep me updated, Ben. All right, all right. keep us updated too, Wendy. All right, guys. Uh, thank you guys for being on. We love you guys. We're grateful that you guys all took time to come out of your schedule to be on tonight. Uh, good to see some some people that haven't been on in a while. And um, love you guys. I hope that you guys will will be encouraged and be on these calls every week. Thanks, thanks, guys. Have a great night.